He'll have to fuck Kim in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals because he knows long as I'm shady, he's gonna have to live in my shadow. Exhausting. Let <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Bob Villa. I'm DeRay. Prince Eminem responded. So it's beef for real. Like it's official. I don't consider I don't consider it actual beef until both artists have a diss track out. And it's surprising to me, actually. That he responded? Yeah. I said that I don't think he'll respond unless someone else disses him. He's not only gonna respond to just MGK. I, I'm surprised as well, more so not even because of what we said at first, just recently with the interview with Sway. He was saying something like, uh, something along the lines of he doesn't wanna help build his career because right. he actually doesn't like him. Yeah, he said any anybody he responds to usually gets yeah, bigger. Yeah, so he's like, so with, with that being said, people took that to mean that he wasn't gonna respond, so I was actually real surprised that he responded. He said in that interview as well that he heard the MGK this, and he thought it was good for MGK. But Which is like the, the main consensus around like, the hip hop community is that it was a decent response. Like, mm. what, like MGK song, it was decent, it was solid. It wasn't anything crazy, but four minutes, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen M put like his focus on one person and really zone in on one person. So yeah, this should be, it should be interesting. So it's Eminem, kill shot. That shit sound dangerous. Going for your head, not even you thought. Bro, and like his head is in the scope. It's a headshot thing, bro. It's become your hater. You done? Beard, beard, right. yelling at the mic. Beard, beard. Rihanna just hit me on a text. Last night I left hickeys on her neck. Wait, you just dissed me, I'm perplexed. Insult me in a line, compliment me on the next damn. I'm really sorry you want me to have a heart attack. So more when he's um what do he say again? Oh yeah, we know you're the, the greatest, greatest rapper yeah. alive, yeah. He said, insult me on one line, compliment, compliment me, me on the next. <laughs> and he was like he was messing with him in the beginning, oh your beard's weird and that was something uh MGK said in the diss and it was like you really gonna talk about his beard, bro, like really? Realized I forgot to call you back. Here's that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on the starter cap. Stand, stand, son. Listen, man. Supply and smoke. Got the fire stoke. See, you got me in a scope. But you grazed me. I said, one call it in a scope. And you swayzy. Don't uh, reply. I love how M responds to people. Like, he flips their lines so well. He's, he's always mad creative with how he flips people's lines. From what he said with inner scope. Yeah, you got me inner scope, which is just grazed. Graze. Like, Before you die, let's see who could out petty who with your corny lines. Slim your old out, Kelly Ooh, but I'm 45 and I'm still out selling you. By 29, I had three albums that it blew. Hold on. He's responding to what, what MGK said about his age and, and all that yeah. stuff. He's saying, yo, when I was that age, I still had... Three albums. I still accomplished way more than... And at this age right now, I'm still selling more. Than exactly. You. <laughs> like, so either way, what, yeah. however you want it, bro, is. But you're a fucking molehill. Now I'm gonna make a mountain out of you. Ho chill. Say you run up on me like a phone bill, spraying lead, playing dead. That's the only time you hold still. I... Jesus Christ. <laughs> playing dead is the only time you hold still. Hold still and, and hold, hold still. still. <laughs> Got the ditty okay, so you spent your whole day shooting a video just to fucking dig your own grave. Got to get your own wake. I'm the Philly goat. You ain't never made a list next to no biggie. No, I said making a video digging your own grave. <laughs> you got the you got the uh call up Diddy got the okay to make the video to, to dig your own grave. He's saying he couldn't even do it on his own. You had to call up the yeah, boss. To yeah, true. Biggie no J next to Taylor Swift. In the Iggy hole, you about to really blow Kelly, they'll be putting your name next to time, next to Benzino Why, motherfucker, like the last motherfucker saying Haley in vain He's basically saying he's gonna put his body next to the bodies of all the other rappers that had tried to get at him that he already killed My biggest flops are your greatest hits The game's mine again and ain't nothing changed but the lock So before I slay this bitch, I'm gonna give Jade a kiss Gotta wake up later Did Jade a kiss, Joy? <laughs> give Jade a kiss <laughs> oh, he, said, he said locks too. I right know. before. So Jada Kiss locks. Jesus Christ. Jada Kiss. Get, that wordplay. Yeah, bitch, pop champagne to this. Huh? It's your moment. This is it. As big as you're gonna get, so enjoy it. I had to give you a career to destroy it. Oh. Lethal injection, go to sleep six. This is like. <laughs> Man said, this is your moment. This is as big as you're gonna get, enjoy so it. enjoy it. Had to give you a career. Yeah to destroy it. So he's like, me acknowledging you was the biggest thing that ever happened to your career, 
but me acknowledging you is gonna be what kills your career. Lethal injection, go to sleep six feet deep. Give you a beat for the effort, but if I was three foot eleven, you'd look up to me, and for the record, you would suck a dick. To he addressed the whole because MGK talked about the height. You'd still look up to me if I was three foot eleven. But so what good is a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo? Had enough of this tatted up mumble rap. I had a fucking him and I battle. He'll have to fuck him in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals because he knows long as I'm shady, he's gonna have to live in my shadow. Exhausting. Let as long as I'm shady, you have to live in my shadow. Exhausting, letting off for my offspring like a gun barrel. Bitch, get off me. You dance around it like a sombrero. We can all see you're fucking saucy because young Gerald's balls deep inside a Halsey. These toys say young Gerald is balls deep in Halsey. So. have to dance around it like a sombre <laughs> sombrero. Tough. <laughs> Tough. You dress better. I rap better. That a death threater. A love letter, little white toothpick gets boss pots pills and tells him he's got skills. But Kells, the day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out, they got pop kill. Ah, eh? I'm sick of you being. Okay, okay. <laughs> the man said, as soon as Diddy admits he put out the hit, that got pop killed. Yeah, the crazy thing about that is that theory is believable. Like M's a part of hip hop, hip -hop. like a big part of hip hop. So for for someone like M to say that, bro. Cause it's always been like speculation, right? That's crazy. I'm sick of your mumble rap mouth. Need to get the cock about it before we can even talk about it. Talk about it. Or when you're not about it, so just leave a dick in your mouth and keep my daughter out of you. You fucking. Oh. And I'm just playing, Diddy. You know I love you. <laughs> That's classic, M. Um, at the end of White America, he did something similar. Hook, let's talk about it. Yeah, a lot of people. He went at Joe Budden in there. Yeah, I heard that. I would never go against Eminem. This wasn't even that deadly, but I know he could do more. At this point, like the way the way I'm thinking about the the beef now is like he's just way like levels higher above MGK in like every category of rapping. So I don't think it's any debate there. But I think as far as like the buzz, just like M was saying, like the buzz that he's getting right now, as far as the buzz around his name is the most that he's ever gotten in his career. The the beef is helping him. The longer it goes on. I don't feel like MGK is gonna be able to hang. Eventually, it's gonna be like not any more buzz about him. It's like, okay, this guy's getting killed now if it goes on longer. And MGK put out an EP <laughs> literally around the same time, no, three hours ago. So he's using the buzz. And that's that's, that's smart because I, smart. like like I'm saying, right now is the time to capitalize on it. But with that being said, I don't think he'll respond only because I don't think he has any more material. Yeah, because even in the uh, the first diss track, there wasn't that much, like, as far as what he was saying, like, mm. even M was mocking the stuff that he addressed, like, the mm. hair, the height, the mm. you only stay inside, like, mm. all, all that stuff. It wasn't really saying much. Mm. So I can't imagine that he has more to say. And I agree, like, what you said about this not being, th this is dope, don't get me wrong, this is dope, but this is nowhere close to what M could really, Yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I even think that this is in Kamikaze, the, the, the different layers to it, that was even more complex lyrically than a lot of what he did on here. This was just like a... He could get more deadly than this. Definitely. It, Eminem responded to directly everything he said, addressed everything. To be fair, it wasn't even that much to respond to. You know, like, when Push dissed yeah. Drake, there was stuff you really gotta... Yeah. We need like, some expl yeah. explanations. There was nothing like that to where it's like, you gotta explain this, or... It was just little stuff. N nothing that's hard to rebuttal, or yeah. anything like that. I think Button should respond. <laughs> he gonna respond on the podcast. If he responds, though, that would be, that would be big for him, too. I feel Joe Budden. Yeah, I think Joe Budden is past rapping, bro. He knows personal shit as well. I'm assuming because they were, they were close. I mean, he could obviously hit a spot better than MGK did. If we're saying if Budden could do better than MGK, hell yeah. So like, that's what I want to hear. That's, that's a given. I want to hear something better. But I'm saying I don't see Budden doing it because I don't see what it does for him. Like I don't see how it works for him in a positive way at all. True. Like. And he's in a good spot right now. Yeah, he's in a perfect spot. Podcast. He could comment. He can comment on it. He could speak on it from a podcast setting where he doesn't have to. You know, I don't see how it. There's there's no incentive for Button to respond, in my opinion. This was cool. This was cool. I think it's M at like sixty. Yeah, he's, you know what I'm saying? It's not deadly. It's like <laughs> he's just saying I have the scope on you, bro. I'm not. I could pull the trigger, but the scope is on your head. 
He's he's not in playoff mode. It's like mid season. Yeah. Mid season cruising. So, yeah, that's the video guys. If you like it, go ahead and hit that like button. We appreciate it. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe if you're new. Uh y'all keep supporting, we keep dropping. That's how that go. Peace. That's how that go. I wanna hear this again.